Hey there YouTube, Umami U here. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologise for the sound quality. My microphone is the biggest pile of crap ever. Uh, once I'm finished with it, I'm going to go in my back garden, smash it up repeatedly and then burn it. So, basically this tutorial today allows you to play your backed up UMD games directly from your memory card on your PSP. Now the pros for this, if your PSP laser is gone and can no longer read a disc, and you know someone who can help you back your original copies up then you can play it directly off the memory card and you don't have to use the laser or anything and also it probably saves a little bit of energy because you're not running the motor or the laser you're just running it straight direct from the memory card so longer gameplay wicked so basically to get you rolling we need to look at PSP 6.60 Pro B9 and this is the website you need to go to but I will put a link in the video description for you so you can just click and go straight to it rather than you know have all the hassle of opening up a menu for your internet I know you people like to get things quick and fast so I'll make sure that's in there for you so once you get to this website this is what we're downloading and this will give you a quick quick um, guide to what sort of um, PSP it will, it will work on and also what firm, firmware or software that the PSP is running now my PSP is a slim and light and it's running on software version 6.60 okay so just double check that any of these um, systems you have and also the software version you're running is one of these I'm sure you know how to check that just go to settings and system information and it will be displayed there for you so next we need to download this um, this here okay 666 660 Pro B9 now you need a raw it's a raw file so you need a bit of software that will unzip it for you if you haven't got it you can download that for free off the internet as well this firmware is free download it doesn't cost you a penny so don't pay for it if you're asked to okay so we just save that to our desktop replace it yes it's already there thank you computer thank you so much right and there we go okay so that's what you need to download that is all done let's get rid of this so this is what you have as a raw file okay so to open this you need to right click go to extract here not extract files extract here that extract the files straight onto your desktop okay once we've used that we move that out of the way and these are the three fold folders that you'll need you'll need one called pro updates one called fast recovery and one called CIPL flasher okay they're the three folders that you need now memory card my computer can read a memory card from the front so I don't have to plug in my PSP so I'm okay but if your computer doesn't just link up your PSP to your PC via the USB cable that is a mouthful and it took me a long long time to say that straight first time without mucking it up and I'm not even drunk so once the USB connection comes up then you double click on computer and then you need to select your memory card which is my one here removable, removable disk K right first things first you need to put in and insert an ISO folder this is not on your memory card you have to do this yourself so to add a folder we go right click go to new go to folder and then you need to write ISO all together no spaces or dots in capital letters okay and that's going to tell me would you like to replace it what a surprise okay so that's your ISO this is where your backed up game image will go right then three folders up here these three up here these need to go here so double click on PSP double click on game and as you can see they're already in there but you just need to highlight these three folders click and drag and that is it that's done last of all you need to put your ISO image of your saved game or backup game which you own the hard copy of which you must do because you can't can't do it otherwise because it's piracy and I can't promote piracy on my channel because my video will get pulled and I enjoy making my crap videos as crap as they are so remember you must own the original hard UMD disc at home so we go into PSP sorry we go into ISO and here we have Indiana Jones Lego 2 now wherever you save this image whether it be in a PSP games folder like I have here you just simply click and drag it so there you go so there's all the games that I've backed up go to Indiana Jones you just click and drag like that now that is a 646 megabyte size game so it takes anything between two to four minutes to transfer over depending on how fast your computer is okay once that's done that's it you can close this window now so that's all that we'll go on to the next section of the video now where I will show you how to install this onto your PSP Right, so I've now put the memory card into my PSP, okay? Now what we need to do is go to Game and Memory Stick. 
And then we have a thing called Fast Recovery and Pro Update, okay? So Pro Update. So what we need to do now is install Pro Update. So we do that by pressing X and it will boot up and go into a black screen. Don't worry about this, this is what it's supposed to do. So you haven't crashed it or anything or made it go wrong. Right, ready? Press X to launch CFW, so we press X. Press X to start. And it's done. As quick and as simple as that. So what we need to do now is we need to go to system settings. Right to the bottom to system information. And there you go. It says it there. 6.6 .6 Pro B9. And my model is 04G. Okay, 6.60 Pro B9. That is installed. Go to game. Go to memory stick. Not save data utility. It's got to say memory stick. Click on that. And there we have it. Indiana Jones running with no UMD. And I'll prove it to you. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now what I've noticed with some PSPs, if you put it on sleep mode, the firmware will stay on then you won't have no problems, okay? But if you turn it off completely, like I'll show you to, which I'm going to do now. Right, I've turned it off completely. Not sleep mode, I've turned it off completely. I'm going to turn it back on. For some PSPs, it won't stay, it won't be a permanent thing. You have to reboot it and you have to reboot the firmware. But like I say, it's literally seconds. So go to free memory stick. As you can see, me and Indiana Jones has disappeared. Now if you select fast recovery, like so. Memory stick. And Indiana Jones is back. Now there is a thing called a CIPL flasher which you can install, but for some reason it won't install on my PSP. I'll show you. I think this is used to make it a permanent thing, so it doesn't matter if you switch your PSP on or off or remove the battery, the firmware will always stay there. See, this installer does not support this model, but it's not saying it won't work on your model. So, the, auto recover, the fast recovery, if you turn your PSP completely off or remove the battery, just run that and it'll bring it back to speed and you'll be able to play your games. So, let's have a look at Indiana Jones then. There's not any lag at all whatsoever. There's no lag, uh, there's no glitchiness. The game runs smooth, fast, quick. And it's probably loads a little bit quicker than an actual UMD disc itself. Great game, I think I paid about £25 when it came out. Second hand as well. So there we go, that's a new game. Great video sequence, as you can see that is not lagging whatsoever. And there we go. And that's it, that's how to back up your copies of the PSP games which saves wear and tear on your laser, um, saves your camera loads of games around, but I would advise getting a large memory card. You can get to 16 gigabyte ones for about 17 quid on the internet, which is good value for money, but don't use all the space because you won't be able to save your games. And that's uh, pretty much it. I can exit it now. And there we go. That's how to back up your PSP games on your PSP. I hope this has been uh, a good video, which it probably wasn't. But um, yeah, that's great. So take care, guys.